How's it going guys? This is Tony here. In this short video, I'm going to talk about the subject, what counts as Indian? And the reason I want to talk about this is because Elizabeth Warren recently had a conflict with Donald Trump where she had been claiming to be Indian off and on for years. Sometimes she claimed to be white, sometimes she claimed to be Indian. And basically Trump challenged her on it and she went and had her DNA tested and the results came back that she was one 1,000th Native American, and Trump basically mocked her for it. But that's not what I really want to talk about. What I want to talk about is the fact that the Cherokee Nation Secretary of State, Chuck Hoskin Jr., released a statement rebuking Elizabeth Warren, and I take issue with some of the things that he said because of the fact that it sounds like he's basically trying to be the one that determines who counts as Indian or not. Now, before I get into this, I just want to say I'm not defending Elizabeth Warren as a person. I'm not defending her choice to be called white or Native American. I don't really care. I think she's a white woman that's a pretendian because she's lived her life as a white woman for so long. You have those people who are like racially diluted, but they want to claim, you know, Native American just to look cool, but it really doesn't affect how they live their lives. And so I'm not defending her at all. I, but I do take issue with what the Cherokee Nation says. Here's what Chuck Hoskins' statement said. He said, Sovereign tribal nations set their own legal requirements for citizenship. Oh yeah, that's real Native American, right? Because I remember that the traditional Cherokee way of determining who was Indian or not was that according to the Cherokee in the old way, if your mother was Cherokee, you were considered Cherokee and nothing else, even if you were racially mixed, because of the fact that the Cherokee have been mixing with other races, mixing with other tribes for hundreds of years, and they're still counted as Cherokee. You look at the Cherokee on the reservation today, most of them are as white as they come, but still they're calling themselves Native American because of the fact that culturally they still have something in common with the Cherokee. You see, the Cherokee used to not be so obsessed with skin color, how white you were, how dark you were, and more with what your culture is, but now that money's involved, they're suddenly changing their tune, which is why I don't place much stock in who's allowed to live on the res or who's not, but I'll get into that later. Anyway, Hoskin goes on to say that sovereign tribal nations set their own legal requirements for citizenship. And while DNA tests can be used to determine lineage, such as paternity to an individual, it is not evidence for tribal affiliation. Using a DNA test to lay claim to any connection to the Cherokee Nation or any tribal nation, even vaguely, is inappropriate and wrong. Says who? So if, someone takes, so if someone's grandmother has told them that they're of Cherokee descent, they get their DNA tested and they're proven to be Native American, why is that inappropriate or wrong if they use that evidence to say that they're of Cherokee descent? Now, he actually does explain this because he goes on to say, it makes a mockery of DNA tests and its legitimate uses while dishonoring tribal governments and their citizens whose ancestors are well documented and whose heritage is proven. Now, why are we now focusing on who's documented? Native Americans have gone through paper genocide for hundreds of years. As an example, in Virginia, the Racial Integrity Act had a lot of Native Americans reclassified as mulattoes because they either didn't want to honor the land treaty or give them special rights or anything like that. And so Native Americans, not all the ones that lived on the res are the only Native Americans that are left. You had so many that you know intermixed with other ethnicities for hundreds of years. Take my family, for example. I'm Native American. I identify as Native American. I've done so for decade, for over a decade. I'm going to raise my children is Native American, but you look at me, my family is blended. I'm part Irish, I'm part black, I'm part Mexican. You know, you can see that on my face where, you know, the Native Americans of old, they had broad faces and brown skin and high cheekbones. I have all three of those things. In fact, that's mainly the reason why out of all the races I'm made of, that's what I choose to identify as. But you look at my face, I've got Irish freckles, I've got a wide African nose, I've got thin European lips. And so, I'm a modified Native American. You know, we all didn't stay just with other Native Americans. We mixed with other races. And any Native who says I'm pure Native, they're probably inbred, to be honest with you, because that's the only way you can maintain purity. So to say that whose ancestors are well documented and whose heritage is proven, that's just pretentious baloney because so many Native Americans did not stay on the res. I'm grateful that 100 years ago my ancestors chose to leave the res and try to strike it on their own in mainstream society because that taught me 
to stand up for my own self and not just trust the government to give me some stupid little treaty or to give me some little land where I can just get drunk on and piss my life away. I'm not saying all Native Americans on the res are doing that, but you look at the conditions Natives on the res are in, it's just like blacks in the ghetto. It's no better. Why would you want to be so proud that you get to live on land like that? Why not stand up for yourself and be a real Cherokee man and actually fight for, for your rights to survive a mainstream society. Anyway, Senator Warren is undermining tribal interests with her continued claims of tribal heritage. How? How is some random white girl pretendian claiming to be Native American undermining you? If you are so secure in how Indian you are, why does it bother you when someone else claims to be Native American? That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever, and it's utterly pretentious. Again, not defending Elizabeth Warren, but this guy, Chuck Hoskin, what he's saying is total baloney because in Cherokee culture, it was your family ties. You know, proving your heritage was simple. You know, you in the Cherokee culture, you're not allowed to marry into your mother's clan. When you go to get married, you must choose another clan because when you're born, you're considered part of your mother's clan. That That's actually how, you know, Cherokee used to do it. They were matrilineal. I'm not defending that societal structure. I'm just telling you what it is. And to, to go on to say that somehow someone claiming to be Native American offends your tribal heritage, how does it offend your tribal heritage? It has nothing to do with you. That's not taking one bite of food out of your mouth. That's not taking one dime out of your pocket. I think that you know a lot of Native Americans need to just come off it and realize that we mixed-blooded Native Americans are all that's left of their heritage because they were destroyed. It's just the facts. But we move on and we embrace the future. That's all.